All right, section 11-3 is on surface area of pyramids and cones. We'll talk about what pyramids and what cones are, um, how to find the lateral area and the surface area of pyramids and cones. Um, Okay, a pyramid is a polyhedron, which again um, is a three-dimensional solid where each of the faces are polygons. Okay, now a pyramid is a type of polyhedron where you have one face, which is called the base. Um, it can be any polygon, and the other faces are all triangles, usually isosceles triangles. Okay, um, now the, the base or the bottom is called the base. Um, the other faces are called lateral faces. Um, and just so you know, the, the very top of the point is called the vertex. Um, now, the, the thing I want to point out, which can be kind of confusing, is the fact that we have two heights. We have the, the altitude. Now, this, this, this segment is called the altitude, and the length of the altitude is called the height. Okay, the height of the pyramid, which, which makes sense. That's kind of the, the vertical height, what we think about as being the height. Now, um, what gets confusing is there's also a slant height that we'll need to use in some of our formulas. Um, the slant height is a height that's slanted. So it kind of goes along the face of the lateral, goes along a lateral face, and it's the height of that face. So we call it the slant height. Um, the, the variable we use is L possibly for length. I'm not exactly sure why it's um, L. Um, I think it's because of, of the word length, but it might be something else. Um, so we have two heights, uh, the height of the pyramid um, and also the slant height. By the way, we'll use the height in volume and we'll use the slant height, height in surface area. Okay, so um, a cone is very much like a pyramid, except um, the base is a circle instead of a polygon. So um, it's a solid that has one circle, the base, and one vertex, um, not in the same plane as the base. Again, again, it still has a slant height. It has an altitude, and the, the length of that altitude is called the height, um, just like the pyramid. Okay, the equation for the lateral area of a, of a pyramid is 1 half PL. Now, P is the perimeter of the base, and L is the slant height. Okay, um, and the surface area is the lateral area plus one base. Okay, it looks very much like our surface area of a um, prism, except now we have one base instead of two. Okay, so to find the lateral surface area of this square pyramid, now we know that the lateral area is equal to one half PL. Now, one half, the perimeter of the base is 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30, or 120. But the lateral surface area, we're not given. Okay, it's, it's, it's this length right here. That's L. But we don't, we're not given L. But we do have this length. It's 36.4. And this length down here is half of 30, so it must be 15. And I can find L using the Pythagorean theorem because it's a right triangle. So I'll find L real quick. It's 36.4 squared plus 15 squared is equal to L squared. So I'll find 16.4 squared plus 15 squared. Um, and so L squared is equal to 154, sorry, 1549.96. L will be equal to the square root of this, or 39.37 meters. Okay, so if, if we're given the height instead of the slant height, we'll need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height. Okay, so then I plug this in, 39.37, and I get the lateral area to be 2, um, 362.17 meters squared. Okay, now we don't do it in this problem, uh, but if we were then, then to find the surface area, we then add, add on the area of the base. Okay, number two. Um, I'll do this one real quick because um, some students have found it confusing, is that we'll look at this right triangle. Again, the height, the slant height, and the, 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 the apothem that connects them. Okay, um, 
So I'll redraw it over here just so we can see it better. The, the height is 42. The slant height is 18 root 3. Now the 18 root 3 um, can throw some students off. So I'll write down in decimals just so it's a little easier for us. Um, 31.18 is a little less scary than 18 root 3. And this is L. So if I take 31.18 squared plus 42 squared is equal to L squared. Um, L squared is equal to 2653. And so L is equal to 51.51. Okay. Um, so again, I, I will use that the lateral area is 1 half PL. The perimeter of the base, now it's a hexagon, each side is 36. So 36 times 6 is 216. And L is 51.51. Um, I multiply those together. And I get 5562. 0.79 um, feet squared. Okay, um, the lateral surface area, the lateral and surface areas of a cone. Um, and here's kind of the breakdown of, of, of it, but this is the more condensed version, pi RL. And the surface area, again, is the lateral area plus one base. Now I'll give it to you all in one formula. So it's pi rl, the lateral area, plus the base is a circle, pi r squared. So this is the formula you probably want to have in your notes. Okay, find the surface area of the cone in terms of pi. So the, the, the surface area is pi rl plus pi r squared. Um, pi, the radius is 15. The slant height is 25. The radius is 15 squared. So in terms of pi, I will kind of forget about pi for a second. 15 times 25 is 375. So it's 375 pi plus 15 squared is 225 pi. And I get 600 pi um, centimeters squared as my surface area. Okay, just to recap, um, just to recap, um, this is a square pyramid, and the lateral area is one half um, PL, and the perimeter of the base. Let's see here; it's five plus five plus five plus five, or twenty. Uh, the ladder, the the slant height L is six, and so sixty um, meters squared is the lateral area. The um, surface area is the lateral area plus one base, so it's sixty plus the area of the base is five times five, or twenty-five, and I get eighty-five um, meters squared. Okay, one more question to kind of wrap up the cones. Um, what is the lateral area of the cone? Well, the lateral area is pi RL. Um, and we're not given L, so we got to find that one first. Okay, this is L. This is the, this is the height of 5, and this is going to be 2, the radius. Okay, so let's see here. 5 squared plus 2 squared is equal to L squared. 25 plus 4 is equal to L squared. L squared is equal to 29. And L is equal to the square root of 29, which is about um, 
Okay, so I'll go back over here and um, pi the radius is 2. The slant height is 5.39. So I'll just give a an answer of Thirty-three point eight four um, feet squared. Okay, this wraps up the visit. Uh, this video was about pyramids and cones, um, what the lateral and the surface areas are, and how to find them.